So now that we've already got the main module installed, it's time to install the screen itself. So the reason we're doing the screen now instead of running the wires for the main module is that way we can have this installed and then zip tie all the wires at one time. Makes life a little easier. So, so the first thing I've done is I've removed the hardware already, set that aside. Um, we use a kill switch on the steering wheel here, so we're gonna go ahead and take this off because I wanna be able to get it nice and close to the steering column. You don't want it touching the steering column because what happens is these steering columns can bounce and vibrate. So we wanna make sure that we've got some gap off of that steering column. Um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get this into a position where we think it should be. Make sure we've got room behind where we plan on screwing everything and just getting a general idea as to where we want it to go. Now, because I've got a half scale, I've got this, uh, I actually have a custom one because this is from a previous dash. So I'm basically just gonna line this up and get it right where I want to now. So what I like to do is drill one hole, mount that bolt, drill the other hole, mount that bolt, and then do it one by one when it comes to something like this. Um, getting the, the, the holes just right is gonna be important. I'm definitely gonna take my time when it comes to getting this thing centered where I feel like it should be. And that looks to be right where I want it to lay. And I just moved it. So I'm gonna try this again. All right. So now I got one hole, or one spot for a hole. I'm gonna go ahead and drill that one out. All right, so now that I got that hole drilled, I'm gonna go ahead and slide that in there. That appears to fit just fine. Now for this hole, I'm gonna mark the opposite hole, which is gonna be the bottom right corner. Okay, so now that our holes are drilled here, we can go ahead and install the dash. And again, with these vibration mounts, we are using lock nuts, so we don't need to get them over tight. We do not want to over tighten. We want the vibration mounts to still be able to do what they're, they're meant to do. Now, she's secure. She is not going anywhere.